Hello, TSO.trade here, and today I'll show how to configure after trading uh, with our indicators through Pine Connector. Um, right away, I'm gonna go to our website, which is TSO.trade, uh, where a very nice guide is written with pictures with everything you need, everything here, how to set it up, how to monitor the trades everything 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 so now uh the reasons behind after setting up after trading uh, besides obvious convenience um, you can use it for things like fast scalping strategies which need really really quick opening trades closing trades so you don't you know have to like play a piano in front of your computer on a keyboard uh similar 24 7 markets like forex and crypto but you can't stay all night uh, and well, the automation is gonna close it's gonna get closed or partial profits or whatever whenever it needs to and a th and third reason probably the most important one uh, it's just simply less stressful and not only you will have less stress uh, uh, it eliminates the emotional aspect because analyzing a trade after it's closed is much easier than watching it go, uh, you know, all around dance basically. Uh, same, uh, uh, same. How can how it can go like uh, near stop loss? Same way it can uh, get to you take profit, then turn around, then uh, you know, because trades don't work and. Uh, straight lines uh, markets go in zigzags so and it uh, i mean some people are fine with it some i myself i'm very bad with this i start getting annoyed uh, i may start breaking my rules um, with this just just put it away just hide it and when you get an alert make sure it's uh, the order went through that's it um so Without further ado, let's go ahead and with through the through the guide how to set it up. Uh, so first of all, you need our indicator and a strategy configuration. Uh, today I'm gonna configure round numbers indicator, which you can get uh, on our website, and we're gonna use a strategy uh, for uh, for futures. Um, uh, the Russell 2000 index futures. Um, it's a free strategy. Um, so once you obtain our indicator, you can right away obtain that strategy. Uh, right away, uh, important for this strategy, you will need a CME or for any futures strategies that you will trade. Uh, our indicators or through TradingView, you you want you would need a CME Group subscription. It's uh, seven dollars a month. Uh, it is for day trading, obviously, because uh, uh, otherwise there's going to be like a three or several candle bars delay. Basically, I think it's ten minutes. Uh, which for uh, for this, for example, this strategy, which is five minute time frame, this is a lot. Uh, like for example, uh, a signal would be like over here. On the second red bar, you'd only find out about it here because because you have a ten minute delay. Uh, if you do some sort of a swing uh, trading with uh, daily or four or like one hour time frame, then you probably get away without it. But this is certainly will require the subscription. Um, so uh, just uh, here's the potential take profit for six months and one year uh, unfortunately futures uh, through trading view uh, and specifically this futures only provides one year of backtest data uh, for five uh, minute uh, time frame for 15 minute time frame you can it gives at least you could go like three years um, which is better but uh, I mean if it's a low max drawdown if it's a uh, very nice steady increase it's worth a shot um, 
now right away this indicator uh you can see right away it's five minutes time frame it's initial capital this is basically a suggested initial capital it's 550 dollars and uh this specific backtesting data was done on one contract uh and this strategy includes only one take profit uh, one take profit means the strategy is not dividing take profits in two three four or five take profits it's trade open either it's take profit or it's stop loss uh this is a good strategy to start with as you can use only one contract meaning you have a, a small position size uh, which is good now um initial capital it's basically to cover the max drawdown now what is max drawdown it's basically the lowest uh it will go from the highest uh it already went basically so for example in here it seems like it actually went negative 528 50 dollars loss as you can see right there and i mean it really is a thing of luck if you if you would start trading this like at this bottom it would never go down but if you would start it here you would get into the loss you never know at which point you start so it's best to have a capital which is uh, initial capital to cover this and though the back testing is done with initial capital of 550 dollars so that way you know your potential that's pretty good like 467 percent is pretty cool for a year you know and you know what, what to expect basically uh now since we uh talking about finances uh besides max drawdown you need uh, uh capital to cover margin for futures uh i mean this is micro indexes futures and uh and this is only one contracts and still uh What's suggested is to have at least five hundred dollars to cover the uh, to cover uh, the actual margin because you need money in in account to be to open the trades. Even though I think they say it's like for this is AMP uh, global broker and it's five fifty dollar margin, it would be best to have at least one thousand dollars for this strategy. Uh, to trade this future you you have you have your drawdown covered and you would have covered your margin um so hopefully that covers uh and this and this is basically any strategy it will include the initial capital uh so you know exactly what's potentially needed for the strategy uh before you trade it uh now uh this one is free you just click in, on the green bar on the name uh this is what you will typically see for a uh, strategy configuration uh, and we're gonna configure it later but um, I wanted to go over how to obtain our indicators uh, and uh, how to obtain our strategies so let's continue um, well, we usually provide access and provide the um, configuration in um, about uh, Let's move this out of here we're gonna need it separately later it usually takes uh, 24 to 48 hours but usually much faster um, you would get uh, access uh, for the indicator and you would get the uh, strategy configuration provided to you or email or whatever whatever works so let's continue now once you are uh, obtain our trading indicator and strategy configuration um, check to make sure uh, the your broker is compatible with metatrader platform as this automation works through metatrader app which you can see here on the bottom um, and th there's a lot of brokers compatible with it so that should not be a problem uh, next is open a pint connector pint connector is like a middleman here it's gonna uh, through which the uh, signals from trading view will connect to with the broker uh, it will connect to the meta trader and then to the broker uh, they do have a seven day trials which is nice uh, now uh, once you open your account you're gonna see a uh, pre-assigned license id it's covered up here but uh, you're gonna see it here uh, uh, take a note of that license ID as you'll need to uh, 
that's going to be used in the indicator and in the metatrader to basically establish the connection. So, uh, yeah, take a note of it. Uh, let's continue. Now follow this documentation to install and configure MetaTrader. Uh, first, actually, uh, to download MetaTrader, you can just add, type in MT5 downloaded. Uh, here it is. Download it for whatever you use. Windows, Mac, Linux. They support many platforms. Uh, then... In this documentation, we click just click MetaTrader 5. I suggest using the 5, it's the latest version. Uh, and next thing you're going to need to is download the Pine Connector EA, which is Expert Advisor, which is basically like a plugin. So in your uh, member's portal account, uh, you will see those two buttons. Click on the MT5. Uh, it will save this, save this file somewhere. Uh, remember where you saved it. Uh, now uh, let's open open the MetaTrader. It's already open here. Uh, now go to uh, File, Open Data Folder. Uh, it will open it right away where uh, it needs to be open. Uh, you just need to browse a few more folders, which is MQL5 and then Experts, and copy that file right here, uh, that file you downloaded earlier. Uh, and that's it. And you you have the screenshots here for every step. Uh, so you don't have to like remember anything. It's all here. Um, now, uh, once that's done, uh, go back to MetaTrader, go to Tools, Options, then under uh, Expert Advisors tab, uh, make sure allow DLL imports is checked and click OK. Then by default, this algo trading right here will be turned off like this so make sure it's on with a little green uh triangle uh now you need to attach um the actual pine connector expert advisor plugin uh first click on here like you, you see it here you, you will not see it right away you will need to first right click then refresh it will almost immediately appear here now right away right click it select properties uh now uh go to let's see yeah let go to common tab first well uh, allow uh check allow algo trading then go to uh dependencies and check allow dll imports now uh go to um inputs and then go to your account uh pine connector members portal account copy paste the license id and uh, insert it here. It's all going to be covered up on the video, but here where they are, they should exactly match. Um, let's see. So then just click OK. Um, once you click OK, you should see this message successfully connected to Pine Connector server runtime. And also it's covered up, but uh, you should see on your end, license ID, and it should match exactly that license ID, which you have in the Pine Connector members portal. Um, also, in the Pine Connector, uh, make sure uh, your license ID uh, matches your trading account number, which the account number, once you log in to your broker through MetaTrader, you will find it here on the top left, or through here you can uh, it's all covered up but you know where to look for it make sure it's attached and it's right there um, if not just add it make sure it's matches exactly the account through which you're going to trade uh, that's it for that part now uh before we continue to the step of uh, configuring or adding the trading indicator uh in order for this to work uh, you need to make sure MetaTrader app is running and your computer where it's uh, where it's running has an internet connection. If uh, it crashes, uh, which happens re really rare, it's a low resource app and it works pretty well, it's pretty stable. Uh, or if you lose internet connection and an alert comes in, the order will not get through. So there is an option, uh, as you can see here, to open a VPS, which is a virtual private server. Uh, this is one of the good uh, 
Volter uh, providers. Uh, basically, you just get uh, you just purchasing a Windows server uh, in cloud, and that run as low. You need like the the cheapest one. They run as low as ten dollars a month. Uh, that way, it's always up. It's always on the internet. Uh, but uh, I mean, it's obviously better, but it's additional cost. So you know, it's up to you. It's optional. So let's continue with the setup. Uh, now let's add the indicator and uh, configure it with the strategy configuration. Uh, now, just to make sure you're adding a correct indicator, uh, go to its web page on our website. Click under this main image, which click to open indicator in Trading View, and that way you will see exactly its name. Um, so just copy it and close this. Go to the trading view, go to the indicators, which is right here, indicators, metrics, and strategies. Go to invite only scripts, uh, search for it. Um, there it is. And let's click on it. Sometimes it may take uh, several seconds to add it. Um, there it is. Uh, let's open up that config uh, we opened earlier. Um, uh, let's open settings uh, right away. Configure your properties, uh, which basically like a capital commission. So as you remember, our suggested capital is five hundred fifty dollars. So set this. Our order size it really depends. Uh, I'm just gonna do one contract. It'd be as much as you want. You know, the more. Uh, I mean, not as much as you want. Uh, you have to first double. Uh, you have to first back test it. This config was tested with one contract, as you've seen before. And so if you add one more contract, uh, optimally add $550 more to initial capital. Um, here's a commission. It's slightly bigger than uh, current uh, the AMP broker, but let's just leave it at that. Um, so switch to inputs. Um, we're going to get to date range later. Um, like if you want to go through and learn how to use the indicator, it's under its web page. There is a full video guide, uh, the whole uh, explanation. You can find everything here, how to use it, how to, you know, everything, everything, everything. Um, so let's go back to trading view uh, and just let's just start it and configure it. Uh, as you can see, there's commission. We already uh, make sure that it's there. Uh, now, time frame. Uh, it's daily. Uh, we need five minutes. So make sure it's correct. It's very important. Yes, otherwise, it's not going to work. Uh, let's raise this up a little. Uh, so now we see some data. Not good data, but we're not configured yet. Uh, so our regional trading session hours is New York. Um, uh, with power hour included, which is the last hour of trading session. Now, um, end of day close and style. This is intraday, so it's on. Um, right away, let me explain what this is. End of day close, as it's not included in the config. Uh, as you can see here, for intraday strategies, uh, the broke some brokers uh, may have slightly different times. Uh, when you can close your uh, various uh, symbols, uh, for example, S&P or SPY, you can close 15 minutes later after market closes. So it would be 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. However, uh, uh, like Apple or Tesla stock, it needs to be closed before 4 p.m. or your trade uh, runs overnight. And you know there's margin costs. For futures, you need a bigger margin, so uh, yeah, you gotta, you know, that's why this setting uh, allows you because, uh, as you can see, this session we chose here, this is a New York session. It runs until 4 p.m. And if the broker requires to close the trade uh, before it closes, just check this. That way. It will uh, notify you and alert you one bar before it cl before uh, it closes. Uh, you can see, for example, as you can see, this is 3 p.m. 
uh, this is central time so this is 4 p.m eastern time and you can see this vertical line uh that means you will get alerted at one candle before which means five minutes before closing so just keep that in mind so you don't get stuck with the position uh or trade overnight and then get charged with margin and all that other not fun stuff and i'm gonna turn it on for this because uh for my current broker i do need to close trades uh before 4 p.m otherwise it's gonna run overnight so let's continue uh, trading system this is the first one round number up down unit uh it's 2.625 round number style simple let's re remove this this is this is custom stuff you don't need it for this um for this strategy so uh, dynamic uh take profits number is one push uh now uh, take profit consumption push tps uh this is offset is off a stop loss system is static the hr trailing is 18 for one hour custom resolution now this trading indicator does not have stop loss uh i mean it is technically because there is a uh, end of day so at the end of the day it's gonna close no matter what but there is no technical stop loss um let's make sure everything is off here and see what we got we have just a bar directional structure confirmation which is basically uh candle bar analysis con confirmation and we got divergence rsa plus macd is 2 12 9 14 and let's see what we have this looks much better and just let's double check uh for one year uh as our we can close this let's check what we if the numbers match the what we saw here and it's 467 percent 218 trades okay so it actually shows better numbers it shows one more trade than it is Here's why this is not the actual date as it only gives a year. So if you click properties, you see that it starts from February 10 up to, to up to uh, January 30. So it's not exactly that date, but the main thing is it's it seems correct. It's it's close and it's very close. If it's like completely off, just go through. Um, go through this config up and down several times make sure it's correct if it's still off just contact us we'll help you out um yeah so this looks good um uh, so we have added the indicator we have configured it uh let's do one more thing um uh, in the settings there is date range and for example you just you're gonna start today is friday and I want to start trading this next Monday. Set this to uh, let's see what is Monday is uh, February 12, February 11. Set this one day before. Uh, this is a little glitch of how it works. Uh, it has to be set one day before. That way the trading will start for this whole indicator on why is it March? I'm sorry, I don't know why it chose March. So uh, February, uh, I'm sorry, February 11, because Monday is February 12, and click start here. You're gonna see there's gonna be no uh, no trades because it starts from Monday, uh, and that way you can can uh, first of all you can watch uh, you can watch how it goes live and compare the actual backtesting results, making sure everything is uh, set up correctly. Uh, so. Uh, the only thing left is really is setting up a pine connector part of the actual indicator which is pretty quick just uh in this input settings of the indicator scroll down where you got your pine connector alert check to turn it on the license id uh, get your license id from the pine uh, connector account uh your members area so i'm just gonna put uh one two three four five six seven nine copy uh, copy paste it here uh, it's, it's supposed to match exactly as otherwise it will not work uh now symbol this is very important because uh as it says uh here 
it's also everything is set here so you can always review it uh, if you forget something uh, it's very important for this symbol to match your broker symbol so uh in metatrader hit control u uh that way you can search the symbols available uh and how they are exactly named for example this one is uh for uh m m2k which is a russell index and um uh, here's this is also a future uh, futures which expires you know so they change every uh, three months so right now it's m2kh24 m2kh24 uh make sure it's exactly like if it's capital letters make sure it's capital um and right away let me mention this since once this changes uh uh, set yourself an alert or something uh, but once it expires on March 15 you will have to change this to uh, M2 KM24 uh, KM24 you will have to delete the alert and recreate it as in trading you once you delete the alert once you set up an alert and change settings those settings do not apply to already created alert you have to delete the alert completely and recreate it so, I mean, you're not going to have to reconfigure everything. You're just going to have to change this, click OK, and recreate the alert. And I'll go over how to create an alert uh, in a bit. Now, uh, trade size. As we decided, we're going to use one contract. So make sure it matches here as well. As if it's different here, this is what's passed to actual broker. So this is important. Uh, and this include pine connector stop loss filler. Um, this is oh, hang on one more thing for trade size. Uh, if there's going to be more than one take profit, uh, which is if it's going to be like five or three, make sure this number can be divided uh, in. If it's five, make sure it can be divided by five, like 10, for example. So it's got each take profit will be uh two stocks or two uh contracts each since we're only gonna use since we only use one uh take profit one contract just put one so uh the include pine uh pine connector stop loss filler this is specific for some brokers um and especially like people who use prop firms they require a stop loss to be enabled right away when you open a trade so this is specifically for this. So just check it, set up the percentage. 30% is more than enough. Uh, and you will have a trade open with the stop loss in through broker, with broker. Now, why you don't need it by default? Because uh, our indicators, especially the like these, which include automation, they are full cycle indicators. Open trade, close trade, partial uh, profit, or loss everything is taken care of by the indicator there is no interventions will be needed so just uh <clears throat> if it's needed here it is so uh otherwise we're done uh let's see what's next so this is the symbol this is the trade size and more details uh all the details you can review later um well we, we pretty much we went over everything uh so next uh to test the setup without risk uh, risking real money, try it out with demo account. Uh, as you can see, like for example, there are there is demo account, and here's good example why. Because I immediately started uh, with live, and let's go to history. Here's the very first trade, uh, the negative one hundred twelve dollars fifty cents. Um, I did. <coughs> uh, I was calibrating the pine connector and it, it did not go through so I immediately opened the trade uh, if you right click new order I immediately opened the trade sell one I did not pay attention that it, under symbol it says British pound so I don't know if this is an index or what is it is it forex pair I don't really know what it is but uh, you have to pay attention on what you're doing and if it would be a demo account there would be a loss for a demo account so it's always best to run a couple of days on demo account as if you do something wrong <coughs> you, you're not gonna lose any money so um yeah yeah by the way this is uh I'll, I'll go over this later actually how to uh 
monitor your trades and intervene if needed. So yeah, uh, yeah, try to start with demo account. It's always a good idea. Uh, now this explains how to configure stop loss. Make sure it's percentage. It's if you use that special uh, immediate stop loss uh, with the order. Uh, yeah, otherwise we just need to add the alert now. So we're gonna right click on the chart. We're gonna add alert. We're gonna select this indicator, which is round numbers. Make sure you select alert, the, that alert function calls only. Uh, if you have a pro, uh, you can uh, select uh, open-ended alert, which is obviously convenient. Uh, if not, they will expire. Uh, name it something, um, whatever, demo, whatever. Uh, and notifications, make sure, uh, check this. I'll, exp I'll explain why, uh, like what's, I mean, it's not needed, but you need to, for monitoring, it, it will be needed. Uh, the main thing is webhook URL, make sure it's correct, make sure it has this forward slash at the end that this forward slash must be included. And for the demo purposes, I'm going to do show pop-up as well. Um, and hit create. And here's our alert right there. It's active. Uh, you can always edit, double check to make sure it's, it includes everything. There is our, uh, everything is checked and ready. Um, so the alert is all set. Now let's go back to the guide. Uh, and that's it, done. So here's how it works, a chain of events. You create an alert, uh, It uh, the alert tri is triggered. It sends data through webhook um, to Pine Connector. Pine Connector sends it to MetaTrader. MetaTrader sends it to the broker. Um, that's how orders are open and closed. Um, we offer assistance um, on remotely setting this up uh, for a fee, of course. Um, so just uh, you can always contact us, let us know, and we'll, we'll make it work. Now, uh, important thing, uh, as mentioned before, uh, the app may crash, there may be no internet, or something may not go right. Uh, when creating, an, it's, uh, it's best to monitor the alerts. Uh, you, uh, check the notify in app, uh, download trading view app on your phone. It's a very nice app. Uh, monitor once you receive the uh, alert, you'll get this log. It's gonna tell you what's happening, what's bought, uh, risk is uh, the amount basically. And immediately uh, download MetaTrader app as well. Im immediately switch to that app, make sure your trade is open. If it's buy, it should be long. If it's short, it should be sell. Um, it is open, it's running. Uh, and if not, if something did not go right, you can uh, right away open it on your phone. Uh, it's just, it's very, very nice interface. It's very easy to use. Just uh, tap on the plus and open trade or close it. Um, and this is basically it. Uh, yeah, uh, once again, um, if you run into any uh, issues or you have any questions, you can ask them uh, below or uh, contact us and uh, have fun.